Good morning, friends. Happy New Year. I have my coffee in hand. It is a good Monday. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I thought I would actually do a day in the life vlog of my day today. It is the first working day of 2020. You guys have been requesting a day in the life type of vlog, so I thought what better day to do it than today. It's about 9.20 a.m. right now. I have set a goal of waking up around 6, 6.30 in the morning every day, but honestly that didn't even happen today and that's because I just couldn't get sleep last night. I'm normally not a person that struggles with sleep at all. Like it's actually quite the opposite. I would say I have a talent and I can sleep anywhere at any time during anything. I've slept during parties, I've slept through exams, all of that, but I don't know what it was last night. I just couldn't sleep. I think I finally fell asleep at like 5 a.m. I got into bed at 10 and I didn't even look at my phone after that. Um, I just couldn't sleep. I don't know if it was nervousness or excitement. Um, I am pretty excited that it's a new year. It's a new chapter. I've done a lot of reflection, a lot of thinking. So overall, I don't know if it was just nerves of some sort, but I just could not sleep. So I slept in a little past where I wanted to wake up, which is fine. In the morning, my plan generally is to wake up, do some meditation, read some news, do some yoga, and then work out before I actually start my work day. So even though I woke up late, I got my meditation in and I got the news in. I did not work out, so that's going to be happening after work today. But again, that's okay. It's a good start to my morning. It's a bit later than I wanted, but it's okay. I didn't get any sleep, and in that case, the few hours did make a difference, so it's okay. Anyway, again, it's about 9.22 right now, so I actually have a meeting at 9.30. My team does a look ahead type of meeting every Monday, and that's just to get a good idea on what we're doing for the week as a team, what our week looks like in terms of submissions to the FDA specifically. So I work in regulatory, so a lot of the work that we do is of course submitting stuff to the FDA for our clients. I am not the one doing the submissions, I am doing the writing and everything else before that, but of course, we have to liaise with the team members that are doing the submissions and all of that. So it's a good way to look ahead into the week, see what's on our plate, assess if anyone needs any help, anything of that sort, and just get a good grip on the week. So I'm actually going to go ahead and tune into that meeting and then I will circle back after that. All right, so I just finished my team meeting. It went great. New year, new start. It's kind of a slow morning. It's Monday. Some people are still out. So it's nice to kind of come back to work, but slowly and not have everything just thrown at me. So that's really nice. So overall, that's really nice. I've had a good start to my day. I'm sitting at my desk right now and I have actually calendar blocked my day. So I'm going to go ahead and just work on the things that I have written out for myself. I actually use Evernote heavily to organize my life, whether it's to-do lists, whatever, um, all the goals that I set for this year, everything that I did, all the reflection, everything was in Evernote. I can make a video and show you guys how I organize everything in Evernote because I love it. I've used Evernote for about the last six to seven months heavily. I've used it before then, but it wasn't as big a part of my life. But right now I live and breathe Evernote. Everything that I want to think about, say, thoughts, etc., is on Evernote. So let me know if you guys would be interested to see kind of my Evernote tour and how I've organized things But anyway, my to-do list is on there. I can kind of show you guys real quick So as you guys can see I have my today list and then current timelines for project timelines And I have a few other ways like Excel spreadsheets, etc That I organize my work at work specifically, but this is exactly how I list out my priorities for the day So I know what I need to get done again today and this week my plate isn't too too heavy But I am on many ongoing projects right now now. So I just want to make sure that everything is on par for that. If I need to contact anyone for any additional information, if I'm waiting on drafts, etc., cetera, um, to go ahead and make sure that that communication is happening. But this week will be a little slower, but that is nice. It's a good transition. With work, it's actually easier for me to kind of build those goals and list out those priorities because it's more on a daily basis and I can really make those very, very detailed in terms of things I need to 
to get done or goals I want to reach, etc. This morning, actually, in my meditation, I'm very new to meditation, so I don't do it on my own. I'm doing it through a guided meditation app called Calm. You guys have probably heard about it. There's Calm and Headspace, I think, are the top two well-known ones. I've heard great things about Headspace, but right now I'm just using Calm. And the structure of that is, of course, um, you know, Calm meditation, silence, breathing, all of that good stuff. But also the recording and the voiceover daily talks about different topics. And so today's topic was intention. And especially during this new year, the lady was talking about how, you know, we set resolutions and that's all good and fine. But the real thing you want to gain from these resolutions is that intention. So I think that that was really helpful in terms of just setting intention and with the idea that, hey, you've set these resolutions, you want to do X, Y, Z. If you don't, it's okay. It's just about the general intention that you set for yourself every single day. So I think that I need to keep this in mind. I am definitely looking for 2021 to be a new chapter. I have a lot to get done that I'm not too hard on myself. And then because of that, completely lose track of my goals. I think it's better to have those intentions like this woman was talking about and say, hey, okay, I slipped here. It's fine but don't give up on it. Just set the intention. It's okay to start over, etc. So as an example, this morning when I woke up, I didn't wake up as early as I wanted to, but again, that's okay. And from there on, I was like, even though I woke up a little later, my day is still going to be good. I have this in this intention for the day. I have this in this to do it during my day. And again, I think it's just all about that. So for me, it's remembering that. And I just wanted to share that in case any of you needed to hear that. It was really nice for me to think about that this morning. And if you guys are interested in Calm, definitely check it out. If there's an affiliate link that I can grab, I'll go ahead and put it down in the description bar below. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was a good reminder of things we already know about. And again, a good place to start for this new year so on that note i'm gonna go ahead and get some work done now i know most of you are looking for more of what i do in my day and what kinds of work um, I can't really show you the types of documents and all of that, of course, because it's confidential information. But in terms of the work, um, there are many different projects that we work on and it is honestly very independent. So it's up to you as to when that work is done. There are deadlines that are set by either the governance of the document itself. The FDA has some guidelines if you are submitting or doing this, you know, this document is due 50 days before, etc. So some things are governed by that. Other things are timelines that I've set with my clients, timelines I've set internally to get my clients information and documents that they need. So it's generally just doing that work. And again, it's quite independent. So I really like that because I can kind of do it at my own pace, at my own time, and kind of go about having a flexible life. So I really like that. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and do some work right now. Um, I do have some things to get through, some emails to respond to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. I'm logging to they want to say hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. This is my sister. Uh. <laughs> All right, checking in about an hour later. Um, I have done some things on my to-do list. Let's just cross them off. So I had to put in my December hours. Oops, I did not mean to do that. All right, so I put in my December hours, which I needed to do, and I went over these documents for this client, which I needed to do. So that is that. Um, we have to put in our hours because our hours are billable to our clients because that is how a CRO works. So it's just so we can keep track of what time is put where to what client. So of course, then we can be paid as a company. Um, that's that. I am now going to eat lunch. And yes, you saw correctly, I am watching Lily Singh's new post. If you guys don't know her, how do you not know her? But she just put out a video of five changes she's making in 2021. I like to watch these things a lot, especially the productivity, motivational type of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch that while I eat my lunch. Lunch today is salad and I might make some eggs. Um, I didn't have breakfast, so I might just eat my eggs right now. But um, I actually have been meal prepping. That's a new habit that I started in 2020. I was pretty good about it for the end of the year, minus the holidays. I did not meal prep for the holidays. But I meal prepped again yesterday, so that is really nice. I basically do two meals for the week and I alternate them for dinners. And then for lunches, it's generally just soups or salads. And like today, sometimes I don't have breakfast or sometimes I don't have lunch and that kind of 
kind of merges together. It shouldn't, but it does. Um, I generally like to have eggs for my breakfast with either bread in whatever form, with avocado, whatever. Um, and sometimes I skip out on the salads or the lunch or whatever because I just don't have time. I forget to eat. That is something I do all the time. I forget to eat. So um, anyway, today is salad. So here is my fridge. All of the boxes are my meal prep that I have done for this week. So that's exciting. And my salad is back here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Yes, I meal prep my salads because it's just easy. So this is two meals worth of salads. I'll just cut in half and eat that. And Alyssa, what prompted me to feel this way? And the pattern was abundantly clear. So Oops, that was not supposed to happen. My bad. At least I have food. I have made my lunch. And I barely eat lunch, so go day one of working. All right, and I am back at my desk now. It is post-lunch, it is about two o'clock, so I'm actually gonna do some just random admin work, respond to emails, work on my calendar. I have some messages on LinkedIn that I have to respond to. Um, I think I'm caught up on Focus RX emails. I will double check that. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. This is the nice part of working from home and having a job that you can work from home with as opposed to, let's just say, retail or hospital. As I always say, um, just because of the flexibility, I like that I can, again, plan out my work. I can kind of do my side admin stuff um, if I have time in the day, if it's on a busy day for me and no one's kind of overlooking my shoulder like that. And it's totally fine. Like I, I still get my work done. I still put in my hours. Um, so that's totally fine. And again, it, this job and in this type of job and industry in general does allow for such flexibility. So it, that's really nice. Um, and then I'm going to have to do my laundry. My clothes are everywhere. If I showed you, ugh, I'm embarrassed, but that is my current status and the closet is, as you can see, peeping. So, um, I'm going to do my laundry after I do kind of this admin work. Um, uh, and then I will get back to work work. So just uh, doing that, making sure I'm kind of getting all my things done. Laundry was the last thing on my list that I wanted to kind of clean before the New Year's or before today. That didn't happen, so I'm going to do that today. But enough of ranting. I'm going to get to work and we'll check back in in a little bit. Drinking water because apparently that's like good for you or something. Alrighty, and I've now finished that admin work I was just talking about, responded to everything I needed to, got that work done. I look like a crazy mess but that's okay next on the list is laundry so let's go do that because that is i genuinely do not like doing laundry like i think laundry and dishes if those two things could just go away or happen on their own that would be fantastic i don't mind the other things i don't mind the vacuuming i don't mind brooming i don't mind wiping things down but dishes and laundry i think are just two things that could happen so much more efficiently and we just haven't figured it out yet i just wanted to show you guys this new mirror i got i had mirrors here before but they were 12 by 12s that i had put right next to each other and I wanted it for um, dancing and working out. If you guys don't know, I'm also a dancer. Um, and I hated it because I couldn't see my actual full body uh, because they were different mirrors in my last setup. So I just got this new one. I'm so excited about it. I'm going to kind of clean everything up and set everything up today. I'm going to be doing a full apartment tour if you guys are interested. So let me know if you guys are. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested. But of course, that'll be another video. But I just wanted to share because I'm excited. I just got it yesterday and I feel good about it. So that is that. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen my merch, go ahead and check it out. This is one of the new ones that I got. I have a bunch of different designs, some holiday wear too. I know the holidays are over, but I have other designs as well, so go ahead and check them out. The link is in the description bar below. 
All right, guys, we are nearing the end of the day. I went ahead and did my laundry. Everything is clean and organized, makes me happy. Threw my towels in the wash, so all is good there. Everything is off my bed. Things are in the closet, all organized. Everything is good. It is getting dark outside, which makes me sad, but it is what it is. We are nearing the end of the day, so what I'm gonna do now is actually plan my day tomorrow for my work day. So what I like to do at the end of my work day is set out my priorities and my to-do list for the next day. This really helps me just kind of get going in the morning the day of, that way I don't have to sit down and think about my to-do list first thing. I already know what I need to do so I can just get cracking and that actually really helps my productivity. I spoke about this in my productivity habits to start in 2021 video and I really think this improves my productivity by a lot. It eliminates all the time that you have to think about things in the morning. I like to just get up and get to it and if I already have a list of what I need to accomplish, then it's so much easier just to get cracking and get it done. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm basically gonna take things I didn't do today and move them over to tomorrow and other things, like I have a meeting on Wednesday that I'm gonna prep for tomorrow and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. And that's a wrap on my work day. And that's a quick highlight of my first work day of 2021. It was a pretty chill day because like I mentioned, overall work is a little slower right now. Things are gonna take a few days to ramp up, which is nice. I'm glad I had the day to take some time to really organize everything, do what I couldn't do the last few days and all of that. Vlogging was different, but it was fun. I think I like this and I think I might make this like a once a month, once in two months type of thing. It's definitely hard uh, thinking. I, I definitely missed out on some vlogging moments because I'm just not used to it. Um, and after the fact, like there was a few things where after I did, I was like, oh, I should have filmed that. So that'll definitely take some getting used to, but I hope you guys liked this. I know a lot of you guys have asked about a day in the life video, so I hope this was helpful. I hope throughout my little insight, um, again, was helpful for you guys. Overall, I am really excited for 2021. I don't know why this feels like such a big new chapter, but it does. And I personally really need it. I know um, I've just been making videos, so you can't really tell, but the end of 2020 wasn't the greatest for me. And in comparison, I have no grounds to say that. I have a home, I have a job, I have all these things that I am blessed and thankful for. So that's not what I'm complaining about at all, but I just was in a space that I had never been in. I think that this transition between going from being a student to a full-time adult has honestly been more challenging than I ever anticipated. And with that, a lot of things have just been harder to do. Things that were easier for me before have just been harder. So it's just been different and I've definitely been harder on myself. And I think that that cycle of being hard on myself didn't help me at all. So I'm hoping in this new year, things really take a turn and I'm going to take charge to make those changes happen. I have planned, I have set goals, I've set a system that's hopefully gonna work for me. I like calendar blocking, it's worked for me in the past. So majorly, majorly, majorly calendar blocking every day, doing my priority list like I just kind of showed you, but for things outside of work as well. So I'm actually gonna be doing a couple of videos on that, exactly how I planned my year what I reflected on, what changes I'm making, all of those things. So I hope that that's helpful for you guys. And I hope that this little look inside my day was also helpful. If you guys have any questions, always let me know or email me. As always, you guys are great about that. Lastly, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. One of my goals for this year is to do two videos per week on this channel in 2021. So you guys will be seeing a lot of me. I think I'm just gonna close the vlog out here. For the rest of my day, I'm going to actually just figure out my living room situation, move things around, and then I'm gonna try out my new mirror and I'm gonna dance for a couple hours. If you guys don't know, I'm a dancer and I'm wanting to get back to just true practicing. So I have, again, calendar blocked that on my calendar, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna work out because I missed my workout this morning. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and script some videos for this weekend when I'll be filming. Again, I've calendar blocked this time out, so I know that tonight after dinner, I need to script some videos. So that's what the rest of my evening looks like. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you guys are. I hope this year is hopeful for you guys as well. I hope you guys are excited to accomplish whatever you are setting out to accomplish. Really use this as a new chapter if you need it. If things have been going well for you, then continue to do what has been working for you 
whatever and however I can hopefully help you guys. I hope I do. If you guys ever have any questions or requests, let me know. As always, that is it for today's vlog and you guys will see me in the next one. Mm -hmm.